If you've been sitting on the fence and asking, how do I know it's the right time to quit my job? I'm gonna be sharing the three telltale signs that may indicate it's time to be your own boss and start to work for yourself. So in this video, you're gonna learn what you're really craving in the work that you really wanna do if you're experiencing any of these signs and how to assess what you need in creating a meaningful business of your very own. Escape the nine to five and create your path to freedom. If you're new here, I'm Lydia Lee, the freedom instigator at Screw the Cubicle, where I've spent many years coaching and mentoring corporate escapees just like you to repurpose their skills and gifts to start a service-based business they can run from anywhere. So if you're wanting to learn how to transition from working for someone else to working for yourself, you are in the right place. According to a work survey conducted by Gallup a couple years ago, it's indicated that 62% of Americans feel that they are not engaged in the work that they're in. And that means that they have somewhat felt like they've been checking out or they feel checked out from the role that they play in the companies they're in. Now, if you're someone that's built and designed like me, I know for a fact that I can't get up and do the work and be my best potential when I'm not interested and deeply engaged in the work that I'm doing. So telltale sign number one is that you might be saying to yourself, I don't feel that my work is meaningful and I'm not living up to my best potential. Maybe you feel that when you're in the workplace, everything feels a bit like a routine. You kind of are clocking in and clocking out and just leaving for the day. And you're not feeling like you're growing with the company that you're in. And that is a big sign that you are not up there living up to your fullest potential and challenging yourself with certain strengths and skill sets that might be not nurtured, right? Or feeling a bit dormant in the workplace that you're in. So when you're feeling this way, a really good way to sort of leverage this knowledge of unfulfillment is actually a good sign that you're experiencing some of this because all these signs really have a positive outcome if you choose to look at it that way and use it as a tool to then tell you what it is that could help you feel meaningful and engaged. So think about the role you're in right now. Think about the things you love about it. Think, think of the things that you're naturally drawn to and are really good at and it makes you excited to do that part of the role. But also make a list of things that you feel like you're underutilized, uh, that you, know, you weren't able to perform that skill more than you wanted to at the workplace. Think about times that you should, could have done something a little bit better and more effectively, but you weren't challenged or were encouraged to do that. And if you were to use some of your strengths, right, whether it's tangible or intangible that really is in your wheelhouse, what would that look like? So start creating for yourself almost like a job description. So maybe you like the industry you're in, you like the position you were originally hired for, somehow corporate politics or something happened in your uh, position that sort of gave you a bitter taste in your mouth. So if you were in charge, if you could kind of come up with that job title for yourself, how would you reinvent your role? How would you do work differently in the industry or the niche you're already working at? This could be really, really helpful answers in telling you what kind of business you could be starting, what kind of side hustle you could be exploring based on skill sets you already have, but focusing on the boundaries of gifts, talents, and the traits that you have that you actually really want to share and make a living from. So I'm not sure if you guys know this, but the first business I ever started was actually a transition business that came from an industry and a career that I used to do in the nine to five. And it was a great transition business because I was already well known in the industry. I knew all the ins and outs of how to produce in that industry, and I already accumulated all the contacts for it. So that was a really, really key transition business that helped me become an entrepreneur faster and more effectively. So another telltale sign that you might, it might be time for you to actually start something of your own. If you're finding yourself saying things like, I can do this better. I know how to do some of this work that I'm doing in my company better. And if I was in charge, I can actually make this more effective and it's going to make it more creative and fun for me to do so. Right. And you have the experience to prove it. So you've spent years accumulating experience, skill sets, right? Professional qualifications, a network of people you already know. You have all that to take with you potentially into a business. So 
What I would love for you to think about if you have that question of like, I can do things better, I wish I was more in charge in the business or in the work that I'm in right now in my corporation, think about what those missing gaps are. Um, For me, when I first started that agency in the industry I left, I noticed that there were a lot of gaps in quality control, um, communication processes to the parents that are sending their kids for programs, uh, and just to be honest, better service. And it was something that I felt the gap in the market of in my first business. And that was a really great encouraging way for me to know I have something valuable to offer. So think about that in your industry. What isn't working that's frustrating you, that you would love to be able to create a solution for, or that you would love to impact in a different way, and maybe do things differently. Now that you've learned all the things that you need to learn, right, in uh, that industry, what were things? What are some things you might change? How could you actually be one of the influencers or an advisor, uh, or you know, someone that is going to be knowledgeable, that's gonna bring something new to the industry, right? So if you're, Thinking about that, um, you know, you're you're considering problems and frustrations you can solve, you can solve and make solutions for. This might be a great sign that you actually already have the knowledge that you have or know already to be able to create something that's going to be really valuable and start making money from it as well. So when you're self-employing your business, you can repurpose your skills into a business. You don't have to start over sometimes in another niche or an industry. If you actually take the time to sort of go, what are areas that I would like to focus on in that niche? What are areas of skill sets that I can bring to the table that I have credibility for? I've already built that equity of knowledge from. Uh, These are a great place to start to understand what sort of business you can start and how to make that meaningful for you too. It's no surprise that most of us crave flexibility and creative control over how we want to live and work. And the great thing is we live in a day and time where this is also possible uh, by using technology to be able to support us in having location independent careers or remote positions in our career. So telltale sign number three, If you're saying this to yourself, I want more control over how I work, when I want to work, and what I work on, this may also be a big sign that it might be time to take back that control and earn a living being independent and on your own. So if you're finding that you're wasting a lot of time like commuting to work, going to a lot of meetings that probably shouldn't be had, where you are saying to yourself when you're at the workplace, God, I could be doing what I need to do today in like three hours rather than spreading it to the eight hours so that I can clock out and feel like I did a whole day of work and you're frustrated about that. Some of you might be built like that too, where you don't wanna be told what to do and you wanna be um, in the driver's seat, right? Where you come up with creative solutions on how you work better and what work that you do and to do better work. And now if you're craving something like that, it's telling you there's this independency, this autonomy of creative control that you really, really crave in your career and in your work life. So if lifestyle freedom is really important to you uh, and working for yourself uh, really does allow you to have that working schedule, a lot of you out there might be better workers at night. Uh, I know for a while, when I first quit my job seven years ago, um, I was a night owl. I could, I was, I had my best ideas in the evenings and at night. And now it's more morning time. Now that I live majority of my life in Bali, the roosters are crow- croaking and they're waking me up and I'm up at six in the morning, right? Times change. But I love that flexibility of being able to work in, in, in a time and schedule that's best suited for my personality and my energy levels. And thinking about a freelance career, a consulting business or a service-based business is a really great way to do the work that you probably are trained to do already by doing it in a new capacity that's going to allow you that mobile way of earning a living and then making really creative choices for your lifestyle. If you want to live in a place like I do, like Bali, you can do that, right? If you want to be a global citizen and travel the world with your family and be nomadic and learn languages and cultures, that can be part of your lifestyle. You don't have to be bogged down by location, right? And only start to see the world and experience life beyond your own neighborhood at 65 years old and at retirement. This is something you can create for yourself. You need to learn the skills to be self-employed, but the possibility is there for you. 
If you found this week's video helpful, I want to support you in more resources to help make being your own boss a reality for you. I'm going to be including a free training. It's fully packed with an amazing workbook called Repurpose Your Skills and a video training with me that's going to help you decide what business you should start. That's going to leverage your wheelhouse, your genius zone, skills you already have, and how to make that come to life into a business idea. So whether you don't know what business to start or you have too many any ideas, right? And you need to validate it. This is a training that's going to be super packed with value for you. And it's going to help you feel really clear about the direction that you may want to start a business in. I have really enjoyed filming this video for you today. So if you love this video, don't forget to hit subscribe so that we're always connected with all the new videos that I sent out here weekly. Uh, and of course, I would love to hear what you thought. So if you could uh, leave me a comment underneath this video and let me know what are the one of the signs, one of the biggest signs that I mentioned today uh, that is occurring for you daily uh, and how helpful was the video for you to start thinking a little bit about what these signs mean to you and what answers they could give to you when it comes to creating your own fulfilling and meaningful career or business. Can't wait to do my next video for you and can't wait to see you next time, Cubicle Crashers. See you later. Bye.